If you need to do a week's worth of busy work in one afternoon, this is a video for you. There are so many important things that I need to do in a work week. Plan next week's projects, complete the projects that are due this week, plus catch up on the stuff I was supposed to do last week. Not to mention there's the personal stuff like seeing my friends, feeding my cat, feeding myself. But whenever I track my time to see where it's really going, which is a thing I actually have done, I always find that my day is spent on nothing. Archiving emails, moving calendar appointments around, having meetings, having meetings about meetings. No wonder I get nothing done. But what if I told you that you can condense hours of monotony into just a few minutes? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the four horsemen of the workday apocalypse. And I'm gonna show you how you can slay them one by one using AI automation. Okay, we're gonna do calendar first. Most people have a terrible relationship with their calendar. You probably find yourself trying to use your time to manage your calendar instead of your calendar to manage your time, which is the opposite of what you want. But when an emergency meeting gets added to your afternoon, it's not always as simple as clicking and dragging because honestly, our work lives aren't that simple. Juggling different projects with different collaborators, urgency deadlines, and priorities can make playing calendar Tetris just take up the whole afternoon. So little calendar shuffles like that always take me forever. And that is just to add one little task task into my workflow. But check this out. I downloaded an app called Motion AI. Watch what happens when I add a task. I'm just gonna add a few key details like the task name. Let's also add a deadline. I wanna do it tomorrow on Monday. Let's add how long it will take. I think it will take me about an hour. And then this is the cool part. You can add a priority. So if I say I want it, it's a high priority and it's gotta be due tomorrow. I'm gonna save my task and it's just going to automatically schedule it for me in my workflow. So it puts it right on my calendar for me. I don't even need to drop it into the calendar because Motion does that for me. And if I add another task, it will actually shuffle based on the priorities that I set. So let's add another task that is prep for daily meetings. And let's set this as ASAP for tomorrow gonna take me about 30 minutes, save. So you can see on my calendar that the schedule juggling task is already done automatically for me with AI. It put my tasks in order of priority that I need to do them right around my meetings that exist in the day. No more playing calendar Tetris. Maybe the biggest time suck of all in my whole workday is data entry. I find that most people who have a computer job of some sort do data entry at some point in their day. So hopefully this is relevant to you also. My typical approach to doing data entry is to put on a podcast and zone out until I forget that I'm doing the most boring task in the world. But I have decided that life is too short to spend an afternoon doing that. So we're going to try it with magical AI. So I have a bunch of data in my CRM, which you see before me. And I wanna plug this data into my Zoom contact list. Since I take so many meetings in Zoom, it'd be really helpful to have these contacts already in there, but I don't want all of the contacts in there because this list is a little bit outdated. So I can't just download the CSV and upload it into Zoom. I have to find another creative solution which is where Magical AI comes in. Magical AI is a Google Chrome browser extension that allows you to run automations between two different websites automatically. So do you see this little green icon in my browser off to the side right here? If I click it, I can see the list of automations that I've made and can use between this site and other sites. You can use Magical to transfer data back and forth between almost any two sites on the web. So it is super helpful for the stuff that I need to do today. So I have a blank Zoom contact form open in another tab and I need to get a handful of these contacts into my Zoom contact form. And I'm gonna do that like so. All I have to do is pull up the contact I want in monday.com, my CRM, and then I can click on the magical panel, open it and ask it to run this Zoom automation that I've created. So I'm just gonna click on that. And if we go to the next tab with the Zoom contact information, it just populates automatically. I did not need to enter data into like five different fields. I just take one second, one click, make it happen, and I can click save. And boom, my contact is now in there. Not bad for one click. Okay, next up is email. I spend basically my whole workday sending the same three or four messages, scheduling ping pong, meeting agendas, meeting follow-ups. It's all basically the same email, just in a different context. 
Let me show you what I mean. So I just spent a few minutes jamming out this email to my YouTube producer, scheduling our next meeting and giving sort of like an agenda. But you know that saying, this meeting could have been an email? Well, I think this email could have been an email template. Magical, that automation tool from earlier, actually allows you to create email templates that you can just pull up on the fly when you're writing a repetitive email like this. This is what it looks like when you're in Magical, and it basically just allows you to create these email templates that leave blank spaces for the stuff that you're going to fill in that's going to be unique every time. But everything else, the format, the writing, it can all stay the same because that's what's repetitive. So let me actually go back to the email I drafted and just boop, delete it. And we're gonna pull up the Magical email template by doing slash slash, and then you can see that all the templates we have in Magical pull up automatically. I could also just type my short code for Magical, for this particular Magical email template, which is just hyphen agenda. It automatically recognizes the person that I'm sending the message to, which is Tim. So I'm gonna click Tim for first name. Thanks for agreeing to meet about our, and then I put in the purpose, which is our office redesign. Our goal for the next meeting is to create a budget and project plan for the office redesign. And then I'm just gonna drop in the relevant info and it's gonna be ready to send. Then all I need to do is sign my name and we're done. That definitely saved me a few minutes and that added up over the course of my day is a lot of time. So I spend probably two hours a day in meetings which is not my favorite. Is there anyone out there who actually likes meetings? Let me know down in the comments below. After meetings, I usually spend at least 20 minutes creating a summary and sending it out to all my coworkers. But today I am trying Otter AI, which is supposed to fully automate the meeting process. As I take my meeting, it's going to generate a live transcript. And at the end, it should be able to give me a summary and some action points that I can send around to my teammates. So let's try it out. Okay, so I just finished my meeting and boom, it is in Otter. Let's click in and see what it did for me. Look at this beautiful summary and action points immediately on the top. I can go in and click to see in the transcript if I want and it organizes my what it thinks is my speech, what it thinks was my conversation partner's speech. And then in the summary section, it says that we discussed the integration of an audio transcription AI tool where I would provide feedback on the tool's accuracy and ease of use. And we're gonna use it for a video project. Yep, this is mostly accurate. Action items, Rachel to email Tim her login information. Tim to follow up with Rachel about the script. Tim to send Rachel a shot list. That's exactly what we talked about, which is great. And I didn't even have to write all this. And if I click on these three dots, you can see I can copy all of the action items, which is very helpful. It makes sending things to my team via Slack or via email a breeze. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this into a note and send it off to my producer. And I will have saved like 15 minutes just by doing this. Now I can chill before my next meeting. I've been trying to incorporate these tools for about a week now, and I spend way less time on bullsh**. Busy work. I should be saying busy work, but I think you know what I mean. If you wanna try Magical AI for all your email and automation needs, check them out in the link below. They are totally free to get started and it will save you a ton of time. The other tools are linked down below as well. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.